Where to retire in the Philippines? It's a fantastic question. So where should you go? So today we'll be looking at the pros, the cons and the costs of the top places to retire in the Philippines as a foreigner. Your first option is Cebu. So you may be aware that Cebu City is one of the most popular and let's be honest top destinations in the Philippines for expats and also with retirees. But here's the thing, Cebu is pretty big and Cebu City is only a small part of Cebu. In other words, there are some fantastic retirement destinations in other parts of the island. But if you wish to live in a city, two smaller cities, Mandau City and Lapu Lapu City, are accessible from Cebu and they also offer a fantastic lifestyle but is slightly cheaper. I found that the housing options, for example, very, very cheap. Now, we're not saying it's going to be the cheapest on Cebu because there are other smaller areas of Cebu, but if you're looking to have that city lifestyle but you're looking to save money then there are other cities in Cebu that are more affordable let's say. There are many benefits to retirees who choose to retire in Cebu but one of the biggest is accessibility. For example, you could head down south to see the whale sharks and do some touring in that area, or you can take a ferry to one of the nearby islands. Due to the growing popularity of Cebu, Cebu is a fantastic place to meet other expats. However, one disadvantage I found was that some expats were saying that Cebu city was overcrowded and overpopulated, so this is just something that you may wish to consider. Over the years, in some areas of Cebu, city traffic has become a problem and this has contributed to noise pollution and air pollution which is another disadvantage of living in the city. According to data that was only just released Cebu city is only 4.5 percent cheaper than Manila. So at face value, it's not the cheapest area to retire in the Philippines. So the question is, how much do you need to retire in Cebu? Well, if you plan to live in the city, $1,500 is a great target. But if you are looking to retire very comfortably, $2,000 is recommended. Living outside of the city is very much possible and it offers a cheaper lifestyle option. If you wish to retire in Cebu but you don't want to be situated in one of the cities, there are many provinces that you can choose from and the cost of living will be considerably less, but of course this will depend on your lifestyle. Hey, I hope you can hear me okay. So uh, during the editing, the second part got deleted and I don't know where it's gone, um, but I didn't want to obviously publish this video without giving you the information that you come here for. So the second option to retire in the Philippines is Davao City. Davao City is where a lot of the attractions and everything is happening. However, there are also other cities such as Tagum City and Santa Cruz that are accessible to Davao that also offer a unique lifestyle. There are many benefits for retiring in Davao as a foreigner. And one of the biggest benefits is certainly what a lot of expats enjoy is the accessibility to Samao Island. Samao is a beautiful place and it's only I think about maybe 15 to 20 minute ferry ride, maybe even less than that from Davao. The cost of living varies. If you're looking to live in Davao City, then I would suggest at least $1,300. Again, if you're looking to live very comfortably, up to $2,000. However, I do know many expats who are retired and they live in the city and also outside of the city in the, in the smaller cities and in the provinces, and they have a monthly living cost of around $1,000. So it really does depend on the lifestyle as well as you know external factors. Again, I'm sorry that I've had to add this in and this is not the original video however everything I said here is what I said in my other video but I've just kind of rounded it off here I went into more detail in the original but if you have any questions please let me know your third option is Baguio City. Baguio City is a beautiful part of the Philippines and it can be busy during certain parts of the year. The city has a cool climate, so you may need to bring a jacket or a coat. There are many things to do in the city and the city has a somewhat more traditional vibe, a little bit like Davao, not the same kind of feeling, but more, more traditional like uh, like you're getting to know the locals kind of thing, if that makes sense. So this week I've been looking at the progress and the developments of the city to see what's going on. And there's a lot of new house contracts and all those kind of things, and also a lot of different other progression um, development, sorry, 
in the city. So it shows that there is a lot of potential opportunities for the future. One additional benefit is the cost of Airbnb. So a lot of people when they retire, they go to a new place and get an Airbnb for a few weeks. Super smart idea. And then once they're there, they, they find a place, you know, etc. And I found that there was plenty of houses uh, and different developments uh, on the Airbnb app, very affordable. And you've also got a lot of budget friendly options and also some more premium options for those who want to, you know, stay in a very nice establishment. $1,300 to $1,600 a month is recommended. But again, if you want to live really comfortably, having a budget of around $2,000 a month is best. Your fourth option is Ilo Ilo City. Ilo Ilo is not as popular as other areas. However, it does offer retirees a beautiful lifestyle and a very relaxed lifestyle. There are plenty of neighborhoods in the city filled with shops and markets and also plenty of malls. Many retirees also enjoy the perks of the nearby island, Gamara's Island. Many expats describe the island as laid back, and that's pretty much what I would say also for the city, Ilo Ilo. There is a lot of history in the city, and it is a very interesting place to retire. So what's the cost of retiring in Ilo Ilo City? Well, many expats say they spend around $1,200 to $1,400 a month on their retirement. Again, I would say $2,000 is a great target if you want to live well. If you want to live really well, you can take more, but most expats don't tend to spend over the $1,500 to the $2,000 mark. Your fifth option is Porto Princesa. A hidden gem of the Philippines is Porto Princesa. Areas in the north, such as El Nido, are increasingly popular with backpackers. However, some would say that Porto Princesa is an underrated part of Palawan. El Nido is a great area and there's so much to do but as mentioned it is a tourism and backpacker kind of location and I know speaking to retirees not all kinds of retirees like that atmosphere so you may be better off in Porto Princesa. There's also a dozen smaller islands in the south of Palawan however where the main attractions are can be found in the north and also in Porto Princesa itself. The city is small which is one of the disadvantages. Life is different here in Porto Princesa however there are so many things that you can see in terms of living arrangements there are plenty of options if you're looking to live on a budget you will find plenty of one and two bedroom houses under 10,000 pesos naturally prices are slightly higher in the north and you'll find that your budget increases if you're going on tours and those kind of things however for the most part the cost of retiring in Porto Princesa is around $1,000 at the low end and $1,800 a month at the high end let me know where you think is the best place to retire in the Philippines for expats. There are also some hidden gems, so let me know if you want a part 2.